Santa Claus. Santa Claus, it's about that time, Miss Jean. Santa Claus, Indiana. About that time. Santa Claus, Indiana. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multitasking. Today, we're going to do an American single malt whiskey for you. Stranahan's Diamond Meat Single Malt Whiskey. Stranahan's out of. And it comes with a shot glass. Comes with a three ounce shot glass, mind you. Mm. Uh, Stranahan's out of uh, Colorado. Yes. Famous for doing their uh, single malt whiskeys, their Snowflake, which is their annual super secret, hard to get, uh, stand in line for three which hours. Is coming up. Around the block, it's coming up. This is a four year old. This is batch number two. Um, ABV on this is a uh, blue, blue, blue. Don't know what the ABV is. I'm going to guess it's a 43. I'm certain to stand. That's a 45. 45? Good job. It's a 45 ABV, 90 proof. So this is out of Denver. This is the 2022 edition. What did you say the mash bill was? It's a single, it's a straight hands. It's so it's just malted barley? 100% malted barley, yeah. Uh, so we went to Strata Hands two years ago. I remember. And had a couple of the snowflakes. Bartenders took a liking to us and said, hey, you want to try the super secret snowflake? Yeah, bring it on. They did. It was awesome. That was a fun time. Tip of the cap to Strata Hands. Fun time. Very fun time. What'd you get on those there, Jean Marie? So I'm getting like a hint of like a black licorice. And um, normally what I get on like a wheat, which is why I was like, do you say it's all resin of barley? Because okay. I'm getting some wheatness on you. I get what you're saying. You nailed it with the with the licorice notes. Uh, the good and plenty. With the quint. The good plenty are the little tic tac of the one. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Kind of like about. Mike and Ike for their licorice. And right? the black licorice inside. Black right? licorice, no, yeah. With like a candy coating or yep. something. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give you that. This, those, plus the cherry, Twizzler cherry nibs. Okay. All right. There is some cherry on the on the nose. Well, it's like a good a, thing we're, we're nosing it. Like a stale cherry pie from McDonald's. I'm, I'm glad you had it was on the nose. As we nose. Yeah. Toucan Sam, man. Yeah. Of course it's on the nose. It's all we've done so far. There is a graham cracker honey note there, which is what I'm used to. That's my go-to note for Shranahan's is that graham cracker honey mixture. Huh. Which is actually on a lot of uh, Colorado. Uh, I get that on AD Laws a lot. I get that right. on, on a lot of Colorado. If it were cherry i would get like a cherry graham cracker type of teddy bear graham cracker cherry not for not for yeah. nothing the best teddy graham cracker the cinnamons which you can never find mm, I never find them. i haven't looked gotta tell you i have not looked for i don't think they make the cinnamon that anymore. in uh probably forever well it's been a while since we've had wee ones that would require the uh ability to buy teddy grams because I don't think most adults without small children probably purchase Teddy Graham. <laughs> so kudos to you if you do. Oh, uh, we used to have little bitty kids. I'm going in, thank God they have them moved out. Oh, uh, one day, one day. Mm-hmm. What do you got? You mommy. Let's be rolled up. It's very, very, like a thick maple syrup. There is a thickness Nutella. there. Nutella. This is like, um, hmm. It's gonna go, mm. it's like a cinnamon candy apple. Um, like the, the, I'll give apple, it the coating of a candy apple. Okay. But it's cinnamon flavored too, but not too cinnamony. Just cinnamon and the cherry candy coating. This reminds me a little bit of uh, what word we had last year or the year before. It's a show, isn't it? Well, it's also a whiskey out of Oregon. Is it now? We, we, we sampled it on this show. I drink. Oh, you're thinking of uh, Westworld. Yeah, that's what you said. Westland. Oh, I heard Westworld. Yeah, you hear things. Maybe I said, maybe I got the rookie, rookie wrong. I don't know. Mm. Um, This is almost a whiskey you can chew. It's, mm. it's viscosity is better than the 45 ABV. It's cherry forward for me. It's a cherry oak. It's a, if that makes sense. It does. Cherry wood. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, you got the oak 
and you sprinkle the cherry in and you throw in a little bit of pepper. Yeah. And then a little bit of black licorice. Hmm. And you shake it up I, I, like I, you're a bartender. And you put it in a glass. It's almost as if this was I'm getting what I was gonna say is it's almost as if this was aged in like a Jaeger cast, but it's not that pungent. I see where you're going with. I don't like the flavor of Jaeger, but it has nope. some of the similar notes, but done better. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't like black licorice either, but I, I don't mind it in this as a note. Hmm. Well, that's true. I'm not one to sit down and just eat a bunch of black licorice, but I can every once in a while be like, oh, I haven't had black licorice in a while. I'm gonna give it a go. Those are two things I will never do. I'll never be like, handful of black licorice, and I'll never say, I've had one in a while, let's give it a whirl. No, no? I'm not gonna do it no. at all, ever. I am a uh, cherry or strawberry Twizzler man through and through. Especially when it comes to the long three foot rope. Malted barley is coming through with a little drop of water. Ooh, good call, Jean. Um, I tell ya, what is that? It's like a really malty cereal um, with like cherry marshmallows. It's a uh, crumbled up. Pound out, like you pound chicken, you pound a, a steak out, or pound a pork loin out to make a, a tenderloin sound. That's Fruit Loops instead. You just pound, pound it up Fruit Loops. Powders that you get the powder, the Fruit Loop powder. Yep. Up in your nose. <laughs> Snorting some Fruit Loop powder. Hey, everybody's got advice, right? <laughs> um, ooh, that cranked up to graham cracker. What? It just sounded funny. I don't know why. It just sounded Cranked up funny. the graham cracker sounded funny? Yeah, it did. I don't know. Crank it up. <laughs> Bam! In a little gossy style. Bam! Mm. Mm. Uh, it, it's a longer finish for me with a drop of water. It's um, not hurting for, um, it's not hurting for flavor at all. It's just whether or not you like the flavor that it's not hurting for. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that if you like, American single malt. You probably well, you probably already had Stranahan's. Does there a name brand for American single malts? Which is getting ready to come out, Gene, with its new American legal category. It sounds like in the early part of 23. Um, you want me to give it a score? I got a score for you, Gene. I got a score, and boom. Oh, you're done? Yeah. 89, 87 with the snowman. 87 with jazz hands. Jazz hands. I jazz thought you were doing hands. snowman. You're doing jazz hands. 87 with jazz hands. You're, it is a top of the line 87. Your dog came down to say hi to you. Hi, baby. Nope. Nope, baby. Say hi. See, there's the doggy. Little baby doggy. Yeah. Not really a baby. He just looks like. You want to know how much I paid for this, Gene? How much did somebody pay for this? $80. $80. $80. I would have sworn this was like a $50 or $60 bottle. It tastes like a $50 or $60 bottle. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. Mm -hmm. um, um, I think it should be $50 or $60. Yeah. $80 is too high. It's a moth. It, it's, a little, it's a little too moth. This is, um, I don't know, you already forgot to mention. This is a Bushmills single cask. Bushmills. So apparently I used a uh, used barrel from, from Bushmills. Which is probably where we're getting that uh, other note from. Okay. Fun fact. Bush. It's right there on the bottle. All I got to do is read. Got a little bush in your mouth. Well played. <laughs> well played. <laughs> well played. Uh, I was going to say, I also like the back, which is chopped off at the back. And mm -hmm. it has some fancy writing on there. But yeah, uh, Bush Mills barrels to age this. Probably. Should have known that at the beginning. Okay. I'm gonna add that to you. It's a little high for me. Uh, I That's prefer high. this at 60. Yep. Maybe the extra money had to come Maybe. for importing the Bushmill barrels. Who knew? I don't know. Uh, I haven't had, we haven't had a Bushmills in a dog age for me to be able to stain the, the notes they gave us. I think the dog was reading really the Santa Claus shirt. Velvet Elvis is a Velvet Elvis time. I'm Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. <laughs>